Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here and I'm super excited for the Kaz video of The Sims 4 Get Together brand spanking new expansion pack. Uh, very exciting indeed. So anyways, let's just get into Kaz. Uh, as I've said in my other videos, I'm making three separate videos. One's looking at like first look at The Sims 4 Get Together, Windenburg, then separate video for cards and separate video for build by mode. Not because I want to get more views as a YouTuber, but because I simply want to appreciate and not rush each part of this new expansion pack because I'm so excited about it. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, first up, uh, aspirations. There are no new aspirations that I... Yes, what? Yep, there is. There is a new <laughs> aspiration. My bad. Uh, leader of the pack. This sim wants to be the leader of the best club in town. So there you go. Uh, creativity is the same. I just thought maybe with the new dance and DJ career pack there, or oh, skills, there may be more, but that's okay. All right, so let's just um, go with this because I want to see the animation. Oh, no animation. Oh, well. Uh, in terms of traits, um, a dance machine is a new one. Dance machines receive a happy moodlet when arriving at social venues. So they just love oh, booging so nice. and, you know, getting down and dirty to the music. And we also have the insider trait, which these Sims love being in clubs and they tend to be happiest when they're surrounded by their friends. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, so this lovely lady is going to showcase uh, basically everything new. Oh. Before I get started, Kaz is almost my favorite part of this expansion, as well as the graphics of the world. The Kaz just, you're in for a treat, guys. You're in for a treat. At least I think we're all in for a treat. Uh, Cause I have looked at this already. I went to the Sims 4 mm. get together um, preview. It's really cool. So anyways, I'm gonna put this hair into blonde uh -huh. so we can see the hairstyle texture um, more easily. But basically, first up, we have this gorgeous little, like, short bub, bub, and uh, I, 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 I just think it's so cool. Alexa. I love it. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, swapping these Relax. around and, okay, shouldn't have done that. But yeah, so we have this little bob cut, super cute, and uh, we also have another shorter cut too, which is this, which I'm kind of obsessing over. I love that it's just really casual and um but at the same time quite glamorous in a way so if you want to see it in a few different styles you can really you can make it a really blonde and preppy girl you can make her a really like trendy red-headed girl saucy girl whatever this i think is the hair that most of you guys will get the most excited about just because everyone seems to love a bit of a side braid or plait a uh, very, very pretty, very pretty. I really like it. And uh, then we also have this one, which is just tucked behind the ears. I feel like they may have been like, it kind of looks like they were tempted to put a head headband on this. Oh, was there one similar to this with a headband already? I'm not sure, but I'm glad there's no headbands because I feel like there potentially could have been. But yeah, I love it. I'm a brunette, but for some reason in The Sims, I love the blonde hair graphics just because I think it's because it shows off texture more to my eyes. But yeah, I love it. We also have a very classy updo. It's a bit of a French swirl. Swirl? French bun? And uh, this is the other hairstyle that I think will be very popular just because it is, the hair is beginning to get longer. I did ask them about why we don't have more longer hairs. And they said it's just difficult making the graphics flawless because you know, they have to suit any, any bo body size. Like the hair has to move with the body and like, um, especially different clothes so, and different actions. So it just makes it more difficult. Mm. Um, this is really cool. Loving the, loving these, loving this hairstyle. There's a few different tones in the hair too, tones of color, which I thought was really nice in terms of detail. And um, yeah, just really cool. And then last of all for girls, we do have an ombre hairdo. I'll be honest, I'm not as keen on this one. Uh, I don't like when the hair begins to get leafy, you know, where you get these, when I say leafy, these bits that are really, 
really, really defined. I find them too overly defined. But then again, I mean, the colors in this is pretty cool. Uh, it's just not my ultimate favorite. I, I love these other hairs instead. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, moving on. Uh, do we have any new hats? Yes. So we have this little cute uh, fedora in a way. Um, super gorgeous. I can see a lot of people enjoying using this. A lot of players will love using this hat. And we also have the knight's uh, cap or hat. The knight's costume, which I might add there is a knight's club knight. Or oh, knight's bar knight. Knight's knight. Get it? <laughs> uh <laughs> I actually quite enjoyed that pun. Love a good pun. But um, basically means you have to dress up as a knight to, to go to the pub to get special knight drink, drinks, which was very funny. All right. Accessories. One of our personal favorites. Great new earrings. We need to put your hair up, girl. Let's put her in the classy, classy French bun. So, yeah, we've got some really cool, chunky, fragmented earrings Love it. Or faceted earrings. Uh, really fun, nice. Love a bit of chunky jewelry on my Sims, especially earrings, because they really stand out in the animations when you're in gameplay. We also have a new necklace for female Sims. It's very uh, different. I don't know. I'm not as big on this necklace. I don't know why I don't like it as much. And then there's this honeycomb necklace. I think it's just personal opinion. Quite like it all in gold. Give us more gold jewelry because I love it because I wear gold jewelry myself. So that's quite nice, quite pretty. Some of these go together quite nicely. And uh, she's looking fine. She's looking damn fine. I'm going to go back to this hair because I'm kind of into it. Or maybe this one. Or maybe this one. Let's go back to this one. No, this one. Okay. <laughs> So done accessories, uh, in terms of makeup, we do have new makeup, just a couple of things. Okay. So we have this under the eye makeup. I'm pretty sure this is to go with that DJ theme career, uh, or skill, sorry. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. If your Sim's going to go night clubbing and, uh, we've got some plain lip colors. feel like we've already, that's cool. I was about to say, I feel like we've already done this, but that lip liner around that Fuchsia lipstick is epic. What? Love it. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got some, a little bit of makeup there. Nothing too crazy. And I don't believe there's any more of this. So I don't know why I just bothered checking that because clearly it was showing them all. Alrighty, let's get into the exciting stuff. Hair's pretty exciting though, I will say. So, get together. Oh my gosh, this Kaz just makes me want to cry. It's that good. Um, alrighty, so, we've got some great new denim right here. Love this pocketed denim top. I feel like I could make a video for female clothes and for men's clothes separately because I feel like I'm going to spend so much time on this, but... Uh, loving this. I love that we can do a bit of double denim if we feel like it. And uh, we also have this top, which is um, going to be really fun for... Can we just take our pants off? Because these pants are not... These. This is not working for me right now. If we need We need to do this professionally. We need to actually like style this so we know every top we're going to try on will go with it well. Okay, so we've got this nice top. Love that it's a little bit of a 90s influence with the sheer sleeves. Uh, this one I was particularly Ooh. excited about. Uh, really, really cute. I'm going to make, I'm going to be a terrible person because our society is used to seeing skinny models and clothes on skinny models. I feel like I want to look at it on a model. How bad is that? Like what, Deli? This is a terrible thing you're doing. But for me, this is how I'm, I rather look at the clothes. Gosh, I feel terrible saying that. Uh, girls, don't feel like you have to be really skinny because I love athletic, healthy women. Uh, that's why I made my latest sim in the gold digger challenge, athletic looking. But yeah, how adorbs is this? Love this top. So preppy. I've always wanted a top with this. Uh, we then have this one, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's like a preppy, again, very beautiful Euro colors. I feel like a lot of beige and white can be very European, very classy. 
Europeans just know how to dress, I swear. Um, but yes, again, very preppy. Very cute. Very, 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 very cute. And uh, I feel like this will be fab for a lot of my, like, milfy sims. Hmm. Sorry if that word offends, offends you guys, but in Australia we use it really um, casually. Really cool jackets here. I actually wish I owned this combo. It's so nice. Oh my gosh, this Kaz is awesome. I met the girls who designed the clothes for this Kaz and I pretty much just drowned them in questions, being like, oh my God, I love this. How did you make this? What was the inspiration for this? <laughs> this is cool. This is so 90s, love it. Love the sheer. I feel like I could use this a lot. And the great thing about these clothes is you can style them so differently and I'm also loving the swatch colors I think they nailed the swatches like the different colors are so great this is very very um mm -hmm. Beverly Hills classy in my opinion I like it though night clubby interesting texture on the bust here and on the side panels it's like a sequined ribbed texture Love that. She looks so good in red. So good in red. Actually, I really like this in red. I love high neck tops. I also feel like this, these clothes are also very current. I feel like the trend forecasting is on point and I know a lot of you guys are gonna love using this top too. Really cute. And we also have the DJ top and these headphones move really well with the shoulders of the Sim. You'll see them move around as she moves around. And, uh, a little bit of awkward cropping here with the hair. Oh, a little bit of awkward cropping with the hair just there, but that's obviously the style we've picked. Uh, but yeah, totally gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I have those headphones! <laughs> I'm totally my sim right now. <laughs> Love it. Uh, okay. We're about to go into a really fun area, which is the full body. No, you know what? I'll save that. We'll go into pants. Let's just get something basic. It's going to annoy me, that necklace. So let's, um, let's go this one. Let's go this. Let's go black and white because it hopefully will go with all the bottoms. The bottoms. The pant. Okay, so we have these nice little three quarter pants. Uh, will I use these much? I think I'll use them in white probably the most, maybe. I don't know. I like them, but they're not my fave bottoms in the game, but they're all right. This is great. This is just a basic skirt. You can never have too many of these. Love that the tops will tuck into it. I'm just waiting for a skirt that goes right up to the waist here, like right up high. I guess this is kind of like the waist on a sim, but I want to see like a high waist. That would be really cool. Um, this is really gorgeous, really great for teen sims as well. I think they're quite fun, flirty. A uh, great skirt for when you're wanting to make some older sims, even elder sims. I think this could work really well on. We often forget about our elders. So, uh, I think that's really important. I'm just going to quickly slip on this top for this skirt. Super cute, super glam. Love it. I just love it. It can be beachy and it can be chic and these are the best colorways ever. Loving the texture of this too. I know it's probably like a plain texture, but there's something about it. Maybe it's all of this gathering that makes it look amazing. And look at that. You can see, oh. wait, is that a VPL visible panty line or is that just gathering? If it's a VPL, I love how realistic it is. <laughs> no, I think it's just gathering. My sister's always like, uh, Maddie, you have a VPL. Go change your undies. <laughs> or go put on Spanx. This is DJ wear. Very out there. Very cool. Uh, I like it. I think we needed something super edgy. And I think this is great. Really cool. I, I feel like I want to see a pop star actually wear this. I think... We need a pop star to perform in that because that's actually a really cool design. This is a lovely skirt. Love it in the orange and white particularly. Uh, yeah, this is cool. 
really nice. I would have actually liked this maybe a little bit more of a cream color. Oh no, still like it. And then this is the fabulous zip skirt. So nice and short. Love this color. I feel like I would have liked that. Just in that color maybe. Uh, but super cool, super lovely and loving the colorways. So that's doing really well. Let's just take off this necklace and the makeup because I feel like it's taking a little bit away from the designs of the clothes. It's better, make it more neutral. Ta-da, we are getting into the fun stuff. Oh, by the way, this comes in the new update, I believe. So uh, this is like an Elsa dress almost, and it's really cute. I know everyone's gonna love this because it looks like Elsa from Frozen. Uh, but there, there you go, you should get that in the free update in the holiday pack that you'll get. Anyways, let's get to Gubble. Get to it. Uh, so this, oh my gosh, these clothes. Oh, love them. So this is beautiful. Really gives a strong Euro vibe. I think it's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. And my ideal me would wear this in like Tuscany or Spain or Morocco or something. And I'd be like totally wearing this and be really tanned. And I love it. It's like a fantasy outfit of mine. This is very Euro, very cool, very classic, very Audrey in a way. And the stripes really add that more. I feel like a little bit of a seaside feel. And I just think these colorways are genius. Love the pink and the yellow. I, I feel like the colorways are a little bit more sophisticated than The Sims has been previously. So I'm really, really happy with it. And I just, I love that there's, you know, the yellow belt with the blue, complementary colors. We've also got a neutral colorway, which I think this will particularly look pretty amazing on a blonde sim. This is so cute. This will look great on elder sims as well. Uh, I feel like a lot of the clothes is really able to be, I guess, used across different ages quite easily, which I think it would be really hard to do in the game. Or if you're developing ideas for clothes, that's hard. Loving the belt. Loving the color blocking. Oh. I just love it. I could put this for formal wear too, which is really exciting. Alrighty. Uh, this is cute blazer and dress combo. Very nice. Very simple. Very sophisticated. Just, I feel like the teenagers of my wealthy mm. Sims would wear this outfit. As well as Sims that are just dress nicely would have liked to perhaps see I know this sounds random and it, to be honest it doesn't really go with the look and feel of the pack but I would have liked a leopard print version just under the blazer a leopard print can we get some leopard print <laughs> in the sims 4 I'm going through a leopard face <laughs> This dress, uh, I think this is more a mature dress in my opinion. This is going to be for my more mature age sims. Love it. And uh, this outfit is quite interesting. I'm surprised about this one because to me it has a bit of a custom content feel about it. I think just because it's like tucked in and uh, probably also because of the pants texture. Uh, so... I'm not a huge fan of a lot of custom content, so I don't know if this is my fave. I'm not sure if I'm into it because uh, it reminds me too much of custom content, although I really like the black and white. Let's see if these pants go over or under boots. Oh, <gasps> stop it. Okay, I like it now. I'm into it. I changed my mind, you guys, with boots. This is... Oh my gosh, she looks so hot in that. Damn. You know what? I swear I wore this like the other day. I wore a tank top with a strapless bra underneath that kind of showed under here. To be honest, I didn't show it up here, but it definitely showed it under my arms. This is cute. This is uh, really teen friendly, really current. This is, uh, I feel like this is definitely around a lot. When you say current, it, it's a little bit subjective because obviously different things are different, like a current in different places around the world. I was listening to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills after show podcast. I know, judge me. That's so embarrassing. But yeah, I listened to that. Uh, and they were saying their fashion looks really 90s. 
and they particularly pointed out Lisa Renner's outfit when she went shopping with her girls. I thought she looked so good. And I was like, yeah, that's so on trend right now. And they're like, nah, she looks way too 90s. Like, what are you talking about? 90s are in. <laughs> this dress is very um, MILF friendly yet again. I think a good looking lady sim would wear this and uh, maybe who goes younger men it's just like what I feel about this dress if I'm making up a character who's going to wear it I can't believe I've spent 20 minutes almost already just talking about the women's clothes that's how into this I am look at this formal dress oh my gosh stop yeah. it like just stop just so cute don't stop I mean do not stop I love it this is quite interesting. This reminds me of, oh, who's releasing similar stuff to this? Is Balmain, did Balmain have a collection similar to this not long ago where it was like the Kardashians were wearing a lot of it? It's pretty sick though. It's pretty awesome. And then we've got the cafeteria friendly outfit. The barista style. Very nice with the little vest. Uh, for some reason I feel like this is very American though. I don't know if this is European. Maybe I, I'm not familiar enough with Europe to comment on that. But I haven't... I see this as more American as from Australian's point of view. And then here's the night gear. It's pretty cool. It's pretty badass. Love it in gold. It's kind of creepy though. Like you, you'd think your sim is just a statue. If they don't move enough. And then it might freak you out. But I like it. All right, last of all, we'll look at some little shoesies. I did give you a sneak peek of the new boots, which are perfection. And uh, then we've also got these little two-tone for a lot of the colorways, uh, sandals, heeled sandals. <laughs> these are cool. They're a bit Beverly Hills. I'm into Beverly Hills right now because I just watched it, but uh, yeah, really cute. And then of course the boots, I'm just gonna uh, change our outfit so we can see it again. Where's my favorite one gone? My new fave, this one. Love it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh my gosh, she looks so cool. Uh, okay, so we've got brown, black. We've got a beige, which is perfect for your snazzy, snazzy sims. And uh, white, brown. Can't see myself really using pink as much. Or white, because they easily look like go-go boots. But the cream. The cream, the cream. Actually, you know what? I lie, I lie. I might use these. I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, that is the women's clothes and I'm going to go into men's now. Dope and cooler. So babe de hope. And you growl. <laughs> All right, so here's uh, this guy. We're going to name him a beautiful name called Ace. Squirrels. Uh, so Ace here is going to be showcasing some of the new Get Together outfits and he's already snuck into one of them, you naughty boy. So we've got this really cool, like, uh, I guess, oh, what do you call that? Quilted, quilted fabric. Uh, super nice. Classy, we've got a nice shirt with some graphics on it and uh, nice colorways. I don't know, I'm not as into the anchor graphic probably as I am into just the plain. I like the plain, I'm a plain Jane kind of girl for men's clothes. Uh, but you know, uh -huh. you can get some interesting characters. That's hot, mm. that is hot. If only we had motorbikes and like a motorbike helmet and he could like take off his helmet and be like, hello ladies. Whew. Ace, 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 hmm. a ladies man. This is cool. Again, elder friendly, mature friendly and um, I don't know, it depends on the character for a younger sim. Very, very Euro preppy. Very Euro preppy. And a lot of European men are not afraid of pastel pink. And you know what? I commend you on that. I love pastel pink or like violet on a guy. I wish Boy Fligracy would wear pastel pink and violet. So. Actually, you know what? To be honest, I don't think it would suit him that well, but some guys it does really suit. This is so French. Do you guys think this is French for those of you from France? I think it's pretty French looking. Uh, then we have a nice Cardi uh, with these. What are those called? Huh. That uh, 
that bone, I think those traditionally were made out of bone or something. Maybe I'm just thinking of a letter opener. I don't know. This is, this is gorgeous. This is sexual, sexual, <laughs> deli. Uh, but yeah, this is very, um, I find myself attracted to a sim wearing this. And this is quite cute. Feel like he should be pedaling a gondola whilst wearing this in Italy. Love it. This is like old man, attractive man would wear this. Love it. Or young European man would wear that. Maybe young American preppy man would wear that. I don't like this as much. Mm, I just don't like these jackets in general. Like I would never like that in real life so it's just not my style dj wear this is a cool top love this love the movement of the headphones they've done that really nicely and last of all loving this bling thank you we need more of this uh and then nice simple t-shirt a little bit of stripes on it uh, colorways in this i don't know if i like the colors I think they've done such a good job on everything else that I shouldn't really be at all worrying about this. I'm not worrying about it. It's just, I don't know about this coloring. I don't know. Uh, okay. So if we go down to pants, these are, these look like DJ pants, like the wider cuff at the bottom. I feel like they're very DJ pants, uh, which is cool for this. And these are my fave. These are hot. I love these. I love dropped crutches. I think this reminds me of Japanese fashion in a lot of ways. And I think it's really cool. These are the DJ pants. Very high tech, very embellished, very good. Get together male full outfits. We've got this chic suit and that is gorgeous. I will marry you if you wear that in black or charcoal. And then this is, this is cool. This is great for certain characters. Barista outfit. This actually looks more European. Maybe it's just the girls ones that I thought looked more American. I don't know why. Uh, let's just quickly appreciate the hair for a second. What? Can anyone say Orlando Bloom Legolas with, it was it Legolas from, <laughs> I don't even know from, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Orlando Bloom when he played Legolas, you know, I don't know, but his hair's being cut like he was blonde and we were just saying he's cut his hair. It's hot. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that's it in a few different colorways. And uh, then this is uh appreciated I'm kind of really liking the guy hairs I think they're just so good that I'm not talking much because I'm really concentrating on them uh this one nicer in the darker colors but as soon as we go into blonde and really see that texture we get that leafy look again I'm not into the leafy look if you guys can understand me when I say that um, darker color is fine because you can't really see it. Um, and then this is really very attractive and preppy too. So I just think they're really killing it. We've also got this beard. <laughs> very cool. And uh, in terms of hats, we have the fedora look again in a series of different colors. I think they might be the same colors as, ah. as the women's. And also, did his voice just change to a helmet voice? Seriously, because that's really well detailed. Uh, in terms of accessories, should we get rid of that beard? It doesn't really match the rest of his hair. No accessories for men. None of that for men, but we will have some new shoes. Oh, sorry. My bad. We do have accessories. I was in the wrong part. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the rest of the jewelry for the women. Uh, but we have a few bracelets here for men. We'll go back to the women to showcase them though. And then in terms of shoes, we have uh, twin turn or duo turn or two turn shoes. Sneakers, sneakers, sneakers. Very sneaky. 
And then uh, some little booties. Love that. These are cool. I like these. Kind of boat shoes. Loafers. Can't go wrong with a pair of loafers, can ya? Uh, okay, so quickly, we'll go back to the women. Because uh, I do want to show this little bit of jewelry. Uh, so the men has this. The men have these as well. Uh, so we've got some very glam cuff jewelry right here, paired with a couple of other bracelets. A few studs could work really well with a DJ career. We've also got some almost like glow stick bracelets. That's kind of what they look like, and they are glowing. They're actually pulsating to the light, so that's quite interesting. Quite good for guys, this one. It's a bit of a tribal uh, look about it. I don't know, I don't really get the influence for that because to me, I don't really get that design in the context of this expansion, but I mean, I'm not complaining, I like it. I like me likey. Hmm. What's this? What is, okay. It's like a, is this meant to be like a wristband? No, I think it's actual jewelry. I just thought, because there's a bit of a tab here, maybe it was meant to be like a wristband. Yeah, but really gorgeous. Let's go to kids. Alrighty, so the kids' clothes are really cute. Uh, I think they've really done a good job being inclusive of having kids with new clothes. This is really gorgeous, this hairdo. I love it in the red head look. And, uh... It's just really nice, really, really nice. Uh, we also have a short do for girls, a short edgy do for young girls. And gosh, we needed this. This is fresh, this is nice. I'm really happy they put this in the game. And uh, we also have this little haircut, very cute. Uh, reminds me a bit of Game of Thrones. And then this. Mm. Mm. How gorgeous is that? That's so like, so cute. Uh, in terms of accessories, hats, I don't think we have anything for kids uh, as such. But if we look at clothes, we have like a sports t-shirt, kind of looks like almost a bit of a soccer tee. We have a nice collared shirt here. But what I'm actually really excited about is this onesie. So cute. How cute is this? Jen. Jen. Um, Urban Exo Urban Sims, she's fantastic. She was like dying over this, the rainbow one. She loved it. We we both had a little fangirl session together when we saw it, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna really like it. Cute dress. Really love this little um drawing. It reminds me of my friend Sonia's drawings, but really cute, almost like concept art. Uh, and not the dress itself, but I mean the graphics, which is really cool. And this, I think, has been one of the most popular dresses that represent this expansion pack the best because it is very European looking, very gorgeous, very beautiful for a child to wear. And I want to have a baby and basically put them in this. Uh, not really. I'm not ready to have kids yet. I'm not ready for that. But <laughs> don't be expecting any mini deli anytime soon. But uh, this is just so cute. Beautiful formal wear too. I would dress uh, some of the kids in this to wear to a wedding with my Sims probably, but I would have liked no pattern here probably just to allow it to be more formal possibly or act as formal wear. Last of all, this is cute. I don't think there is anything negative to say about this. This is gorgeous and the patterns are just so cute with the little cats and paw prints and like, oh, stop it. You guys are gonna cry over this, this is so cool. These little socks have ribbons on them, on the side, like what? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop making it so cute, Sibs. And then we have some little booties, which look, they don't really go with these socks cause it's like double, double bow action, but really sweet, uh, very nice, very nice. And uh, we've got some bigger boots, which this is kind of interesting for a kid. Am I missing some part of in European influence here? I don't really get what, what these are, but they're very different for a kid. Little sneakers, sneaky sneakers, gorgeous. Last of all, we're going to look at little boy clothes and uh, cool hair. Would have liked to see that other short hairdo available for young boys as well. That would have been cool. 
And uh, again, the Game of Thrones hair. Very cute. Uh, in terms of <laughs> outfits, you can match your mum sim in jackets with the female version of this, which is pretty funny. Uh, sports top, we've got the tucked in college shirt again. Really cool leather jacket for a kid. Like this looks like a really good quality jacket for a kid. And then we've got some nice little singlets here. Cute. No bottoms for boys. Surprising, uh, interesting. That's okay. And then of course the boys also have their onesie options, which are cute. They've got cowboys and whatnot. This is very European, perfect formal wear. Love having some shorts for formal wear for kids because I don't think kids necessarily look great in full trousers. And then this is probably my fave. Makes me want to cry, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. No, I want to have little boy kids to dress them in this and triplets so they can all wear the same in different colors. <laughs> oh God, Deli getting clocky. Run while you can. Uh, and then we've just got the sneakers for boys. So that's really cool. But that's basically uh, oh, basically it for, for Kaz. Very cool. Hopefully I didn't miss too much. Oh, tattoos. I forgot to see if we've got any new tattoos because I know some of you guys will be looking for that. Uh, there'll also be some new clothes. Yeah, no new tats. Um, new, new options for pre-made outfits too. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.